So you probably clicked on this video because you saw the Team EA logo and you're in the middle of marching band season or whatever's going on at your school right now and you're trying to cram for these auditions that are coming up. I presume that your region auditions or all state or whatever you call it, all district auditions are coming up soon, probably in the next week or two. So in this video, I hope to give you some advice as to what you should be doing at this moment in time as you work towards these auditions. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a way in which I can help you directly during this process. So let's first talk Talk about what you should be doing at this point in the process. So the first thing I suggest is to be really consistent with your practice, even if that means only getting 15 to 20 minutes in per day. I'd rather you do that than only three hours twice a week. The next big thing I would suggest is to be performing a lot. You should be playing in front of an audience pretty much every day just to mimic that audition room and how that's going to feel, even if that means playing in front of your parents, like your siblings, your cat, your dog. Get your band director to listen to you as much as possible, even if that means like after school or during lunch. Just try your best to be playing in front of someone all the time. One thing I like to do when preparing for these auditions was to try and predict what cut they were going to pick, since most places don't play the whole etude for these auditions, especially uh, these earlier auditions. Split the etude up into thirds, play the first third, maybe start on the second third or even the third third. Do all of those weird things that are going to help you prepare for the audition. Think about whether you're going to sit or you're going to stand during this audition. All of those different things. Is it going to be freezing cold? Bring a jacket. This sounds a little bit crazy, but when we had the online auditions during my junior year, I was lucky enough to be able to record those at the school and my school recorded them for me. I knew that I was gonna have to drive there and then probably just get my horn out and record since I only had a certain slot of time. So in my preparation during that audition, even though it was recorded, I knew I was only gonna have a certain amount of time. So I would get in my car, drive around for maybe 15 minutes, pull back into my driveway and then try and do a run cold. I really suggest trying different runs cold just because that's that's how it's gonna be in the audition room. You're not gonna get a, a nice warm up right before. Who knows how long you're gonna have to wait until you have to play. The third super important thing is to just start your practice slow every day. Play the etude at half tempo. I know that's not the most fun thing in the world, but please play at half tempo as much as you can. The more slow reps you have, the better off you're gonna feel when it gets to that time where you have to play it at full tempo. Okay, let's now talk about where I come in. I thought of this maybe crazy idea a few days ago, but I wanna do my best to help as many people out there with these auditions, whether you're in Texas, whether you're in Illinois, um, whatever that means to you, whether you're in middle school, whether you're in high school. I'm gonna set up a way where you can send me recordings of these etudes and I'll give you a little bit of feedback on them. Because like I said, the best thing you can do at this point in time is allow others to listen to you and if I can give a little bit of feedback to you and that helps you out, then that's great. Even just the effort to record it and send it to me, that means you're gonna be listening to it and you recording yourself and listening to yourself is gonna help you tremendously throughout this process. So in the video's description down below, I'm gonna leave a Google form link in which you'll fill that out. There will be all the instructions on there as to how you should send that video to me. So if you fill that form out, I'll review your video and give you a little bit of feedback on it. Remember that it doesn't matter who you are, or what state you're living in, or what you're auditioning for, whether that's district, all state, whatever it is. I wanna hear from you, I wanna see your videos, I wanna give you feedback on those. So in the video's description down below, there'll be a Google form link which you'll fill out and send me the video there. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Consider subscribing down below. I'll see you next time.